Welcome back, everybody, broadcasting to you live from one of South Africa's magnificent World Heritage Sites. Mapungubwe is uh, where we've been broadcasting from this morning out of the Limpopo province and such a magnificent part of South Africa. Uh, that's the wildlife that we've got with us this morning. They're visiting us uh, as we look over from where we're broadcasting from. That's, uh, that's the view that we are seeing. And I couldn't think of a better way to wake up on a Monday morning. Lots of people tweeting me, just telling me how jealous they are that I'm in their home province and that they just wish that they were here well I'll tell you one thing it is beautiful and I do agree uh, this morning it was a little bit chilly but uh, now things have warmed up quite significantly I was quite proud of myself for bringing a jersey and now I'm just thinking what an idiot I am to be honest with you but uh, nonetheless it is good being here and uh, we finished off our conversation I'm sure a lot of people perhaps weren't watching or you were watching and you're still waiting for us to continue this conversation talking through the uh, CEO of Sara uh, um, you know we've been talking about Saras it's the launch of this information system that's going to be taking place but let's talk about the work of Sara and I'm now joined again by the CEO uh, Mabata Ramakoshi it's good to have you and thanks again for staying with us into the next hour here on Morning Live. Um, Thank you. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the security of this website. You know, that's, that's one thing. We've got all of this vital information that is going to be stored there. Uh, security, I imagine, is one of the big issues that needs to be discussed. Yeah. How safe is the information there? The information on SARS is very safe. I mean, we've got two spaces where we're saving information, one in Cape Town and one in Johannesburg. And the capacity of SARS, it, has, it is 96 terabytes, which is 96,000 gigabytes. So you, there, there would not be a time where you find that it has crashed. It's there, it's secured, and people can trust that once they, they download the information on SARS, it will, it will be protected. Yeah. So they, they should not feel that once they put their, their information there, then they, must, they might lose it. Actually, we might be the one that can have information on SARS that will be protected and, and safe. Right. Where did the idea come from? Because this, as we say, is a world first. No one else has done something like this. Why South Africa? Why are we doing it? The idea came from Parliament. They were worried that they are losing a lot of their heritage outside the, the country. People will come the, here to buy some art that is of heritage importance and leave the country. So ultimately they, they said, we don't know what we own. Until we know, we will not be able to preserve and protect our, our resources. After that, then they put money. The Department of Arts and Culture, which is our mother, mother uh, department, then said to Sarah that we should be one, the ones developing the service. So then we had a project manager who is in-house, who is now developing Saris to ensure that every heritage resources is in that system. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, in, in, in terms of access, is everybody able to access this? You don't need to subscribe. You don't need to have passwords. You don't have to have anything. You can just type in the website and it's all at your fingertips without of access this is one of the most accessible system that you can get into because it's, it's free you're not charging anything people will definitely have to register and, and be given a password so that when they put their their information there they know that it's also protected mm. you know you do, people, it's free for students everybody can just go there and find information so it's it's one of those information systems that are at your fingertips and are free for, every, for all South African and even international yeah. because anybody can access it even on, on, your, on your computer, mm -hmm. on your cell phone. Everybody can be able to ac access our website. Very quickly, today I know that there's the launch function. It's happening here. That's why we're broadcasting from here. What's happening? Who is attending today? Today the, the launch is attended by practitioners from the heritage sector because after the, the launch of the service, we are going to have a conference on sacred sites. That's why we are here in Mapungube. So we have invited local communities, we've invited uh, practitioners in the heritage sector, we've invited government uh, entities to come in and be with us so that we start engaging around sacred sites. I mean South Africa is, is a country full of, of cultural uh, diversity and, and practices but now for us to be able to protect those sites we need to engage around it and ultimately come with a policy that will be able to assist to protect the sites themselves thank you so much for talking to us good luck for today and uh, good luck for the website going forward the ceo of sara uh, mabato ramakoshi talking to us about uh, sara's the launch of it the importance of it and the fact that this is accessible to absolutely everybody so i'm sure you're logging on or if you haven't logged on already i'm sure you're going to soon all right let's take a break here on morning live when we return uh, we'll have more from this beautiful part of south africa mapungubwe in the limpopo province stay tuned thank you